Here are the best MLB player props for Saturday, March 30th, but not because I said so, but because math did. What we're doing is going to unabated.com and using their MLB player prop simulator, using a custom blend of numbers from fantasy pros, number fire, and market-based projections to find the biggest edges out there for games today. And first off, we're going to start with the Mets versus Brewers. So once we run the numbers and filter for the best possible value, Two bets come up right away. Uh, the under zero and a half total bases for Brett Beatty of the New York Mets and over one and a half bases for Christian Yelich for the Milwaukee Brewers. Personally, I have seen Brett Beatty struggle all of last year, but new year, new leaf. Uh, you really can't see these uh, player props open right now on the major three sports books and uh, BetMGM doesn't have a line either. Uh, you have under one and a half for minus 345 at Bet Rivers. For my money, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on Christian Yelich going over one and a half as you can get some plus numbers on that with the biggest coming from, uh, looks like DraftKings at plus 140. Or if you have Bovada, you can get that for plus 152. So that is where my money's going. Next up, we have Cubs versus Rangers. And boy, oh boy, is there some major value to be had here. As a Cubs fan, this makes me feel all good and warm inside. Looking at the lines here, leading the leaderboard, we have Christopher Morel coming in with some whopping 50.96% EV. If you can get Bet365, I currently don't have access to that. So it uh, looks like the best line for his total bases over is over one and a half at plus 125 at DraftKings. Cubs versus the Rangers. Uh, the Rangers are throwing out Cody Bradford, who was absolutely horrible last year. Again, I know it's a new season, but... If Bradford is anything like he did last year, uh, Morrell and co. should eat him up. Interestingly enough, looks like there is some other value on the overs for both Cody Bellinger and Seiya Suzuki. So um, if that floats your boat, by all means. And then uh, looks to be some pretty good value on the under uh, one and a half bases for Garrett Cooper. Uh, but then, again, these are pretty heavily juiced or pretty pricey at minus 179 at Caesars, minus 180 at uh, DraftKings and no lines for FanDuel. So uh, it's Saturday. Uh, value is value. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm going to say my plus plus uh, odds bet. So I'm locking in Christopher Morrell over one and a half bases uh, against the Rangers. Okay, third game, Braves versus Phillies. You got Max Fried on the mound for Atlanta and Aaron Nola for the Philadelphia Phillies. Running the simulations here, no love for Travis Darno. Uh, looks like they have the under uh, zero and a half total bases with the best uh, best EV being at uh, Bet365 for plus 145 odds. Uh, if you don't have Bet365, looks like the next best bet is going to be DraftKings at under zero and a half total bases for Plus 135. If you're looking to get some action uh, and still have some EV bets, Michael Harris, Ozzy Albies uh, seem to be uh, the two top uh, brave setters for getting their overs. Both that over one and a half total bases. Best line for Harris is going to be at DraftKings at uh, plus 140. And then for Ozzy, also at DraftKings at plus 120 for over one and a half bases. Okay, and last up, we have Cardinals versus the Dodgers. Uh, no surprise here, leading the leaderboard, Shohei Otani. Looks to be some pretty uh, pretty good value at over one and a half total bases. Best line is going to be at DraftKings at minus 110, followed shortly behind with Caesars at minus 111 for over one and a half. That's a pretty good bet, um, one I'm going to make here. Uh, just don't tell us translator. If you got Lance Lynn on the line for, or Lance Lynn on the mound for St. Louis and Yoshinobu Yamamoto on the mound for the Dodgers, who Yamamoto got absolutely rocked in his first appearance this season, uh, sporting a 45 ERA. Now, that's always tough, right? You know, one bad game doesn't really mean they're going to be that terrible of a pitcher, but something to keep an eye out on. Um, if you're not, you're not liking Otani, uh, Mookie Betts and uh, Teoscar Hernandez are also have some good value here. Mookie at over one and a half bases for plus 120 at Bovada or plus 112 at Caesars. And if you're looking to take the angle of Yamamoto's going to struggle again, probably looking at Nolan Arenado. Uh, his total bases are over one and a half, and you can get that for plus 132 or as uh, as high as plus 130 at DraftKings. So um, just a quick, quick shout out to Unabated. If you want to try running these things for yourself, click the link in our description. Click the link below. Um, you can use the code BTB for a five-day free trial. 
And you can also get a free demo on how to actually work through all these things. I'm just doing total bases for the sake of this video, but they have pitcher strikes, uh, home runs, and hits as well as for the simulations. Again, you can custom blend your projection. So it's not just you know uh, a static projection. It is using other outside uh, sources, uh, Fantasy Pros, Number Fire, EV Analytics, market-based projection. So you can customize however you want. You can even upload your own numbers if you're a little more advanced and use that to simulate this thing out. Definitely can have some edges. Definitely can find some edges and win some money. So hope you do it. Hope you have a great Saturday. And as always, good luck.